with Agnes Vesterman all the way from the Netherlands. Welcome, Agnes. Thank you. Honored to be here. Fantastic. So talk us through your beautiful collection that's for Goldwell this year. Tell us all about it. Well, this year collection from Goldwell Color Zoom is Reillusion. And what is Reillusion all about? It's creating an optical illusion in hair. Is it real? or is it an illusion? We are using surprising elements, hidden details, to give you that special look. It's, it's powerful, it's strong, but it's not loud. It's very fun and playful, and it gives everybody their own identity. It's a lot of texture, it's a lot of colors, but it's all very subtle, very sheer, and it gives it that hidden effect. So let me get through all these beautiful models that we have over here. I will start here at the sides. Can you come to the front, Vicky? And we'll talk you through what we did here. Here we used beautiful colors. And the work that we did is we used for the technique, the kaleidoscope effect. And the kaleidoscope effect is using prisms, triangle shapes, and within those prisms, triangle shapes, working through with horizontal slices, vertical slices, but very fine. You can use block colors or maybe microwaves to give it a very subtle and sheer look. Here what we did, is we used a combination in the prisms with a block color with a 3VV top chic, base color with a 5VV, and then the pre-lightened sections that we used, a blending technique of three different shades of Illumin. The first one was a VV at all with AN at 5 and an AB at 9 to give you a beautiful dark violet. Then we go over into those soft, pastel smoky rosé and that's with the GB at 9, KB at 7 and PK of a lumen because it gives it that beautiful soft pastel rose. And then within that blending technique you get a beautiful soft feel of dimension. It's strong, it's powerful but it's not loud but it gives it its own identity. Cutwise, as you can see we did a lot of point cutting techniques within the prism sectioning. Thank you, Vicky. Let's get Jess over here. Here you can see, if you look at the styling, you can really see those triangle shapes. I interpreted the triangle shapes of the prisms from the kaleidoscope effect for the styling segment as well. Using texture with curling the hair with a bigger and a smaller iron to give it that triangle shapes around it. In the front area, we use the prism, one big one, Within the prism in the front area, we used three different shades of Illumin. The first one is a block color with VV and BL of Illumin. The second and the third one we did is using those horizontal slices with micro slices, a very soft tone. The first one is the YY at all of Illumin and the second one is the KK with KB at seven of Illumin to give it that soft copper. As you can see underneath here as well, can you turn? Yeah. Here we have those beautiful violet tones. It's very intense, but it's not loud. Going into a blending technique for the beautiful curls. Thank you. If we move over to Wendy, here you can see that I used the curls on the front area to give you that surprising elements. We used also for the technique the prisms, but the prisms are more underneath than on top of the hair. So that's why we have these beautiful curls on the sides to give that surprising element, that own identity, to give it the long hair much more stronger look. The colors that I used here is all with a lumen. Base color is an 11 series, a high lift series of Goldwell. It's top chic 11P with 12%. And the rest we did all with the lumen to give you that beautiful blending of the soft rose, Zelman, a light blue is in it, and a soft pastel violet on top. Thank you, Wendy. As you can see here, we use the prisms as well for a color technique. The shape is very strong. It's interpreted from the 60s, the very strong bob shape with a really short fringe. We use point cutting technique, but also very sharp lines to really underline a strong haircut. Within the prisms, in the front area, we used horizontal slices to give you that multi-dimensional look, but very subtle and soft. 
We have it a very strong color. It's the YY of Illumin to give you that yellow touch within the natural base blonde. And then we have a violet one, and it's the AB at six with VV of Illumin. So those two colors, but very fine slices, you have that it's more like a subtle underneath hidden detail. Especially if you look on the sides, you see that it's strong colors, but within the color placement, we use the pivoting point within the prism. It gives you that soft look that it's not loud, but it's still strong and it still has their own identity. Thank you. If we move over to the next one, we also have that surprising element to give it its own identity. So I interpreted the technique and as you can see here, we stamped the hair with beautiful lines in it with the freehand technique to give it a more pump up within the long hair. Within the long hair, you see those multi-dimensional colors. We use prisms, bigger prisms with, uh, with a lot of different colors. It goes from a really light gray to a brown, copper and to a blue. It is colors that it's not in harmony, but within the placement, as you can see, it is in harmony. And especially for the long hair, you can give it its own identity. Even the surprising element, as you can see on the sides, just give it that small surprising element to push up the long hair and give it something special. Thank you. If we move over to the next one, as you can see here, we used a lot of matte brown, silvery grays, and the techniques are very soft. In front, we also have the prism placement with horizontal slices that you give that sheer multi-dimensional gray tone. And underneath, we have some strong dipping technique going from a darker level seven SB on top chic, going into the lighter one that we toned down with the 10P and 7SB top chic. Base color, we did with different brown shades. The first one is the 6BS top chic, and the second one is the 4MG with 5BB to give it really that pearlish silver black tone in it. Thank you. This is the whole collection. Some of the models, we of course have a little bit more. But this is what Reillusion is all about. Surprising elements, hidden details. It's fun, it's playful, but it's not loud. So what we did here with all the color works and the styles, these are really our short head models. And if we go over to the first one, can you step forward a little bit? Here we also have that strong bob shape that's interpreted from the 60s as well. It's a very classical look, but in combination with those natural dark browns going over to the smoky blue grays, light grays, and even going to that violet in it, it makes it look more interesting. It gives it that own identity. It gives it that classical bob something special, something new and interesting. Thank you. If we go over to the next model, here we also worked with a beautiful dark brown in combination with the lighter brown that has a little bit of that pastel rose in it as well. In the front area, working within those prisms with a pivoting point with different shades of pastel tones going through a lighter mint color in a dark gray into a lighter gray to give it something special that the base color has something interesting in the front area as well. Thank you. If you look over here, we worked with the base color very natural in a blonde shape. But because her haircut is so strong and we also worked with those prism shapes as sectioning for cutting, but also for coloring, we used only one big prism shape in the front area. Using a block color of a mint tone, then going into a white color and a very pastel smoky gray. The base color we used, a very nudie colors especially if you look at the outfit as well. We interpreted that into the hair to give it very a strong shape, but with nudie natural colors in combination with something special. Thank you. So going over to this group, as you can see, it's very colorful, especially if you look at the outfits. This was our styling segment. And if we go over to the first model, can you come to the front? Here we really interpreted the 80s. If you look at the haircuts and the hairstyle from the 80s, we have those mullets, 
I interpret it in something new and make it something special. It's a very powerful look, and I think color-wise we don't need that much placement. So what we did is a blending technique, going from to an intense red into an intense copper, but giving that multi-dimensional look because we did a lot of texturizing within the haircut, a lot of point cutting techniques within the top sectioning, going into the longer sectioning from the sides and even going to the back to really give you that texturized feeling that we had from the 80s as well. Thank you. If we go over to the next one, this is one of my styling models as well. What we did here, she has long hair and we did a quick updo and within the updo I wanted to interpret it the triangle shape as we have for the kaleidoscope effect. So here we have the triangle shape using a curling iron, back combing it, flipping it in on the back area to give you that round shape in the back very quick. And then in the front section, we back combed it to give it that frizzy look. Something special and something as her own identity. Color-wise, we used a lot of copper strawberry colors within a gold beige blonde tone. Thank you. If we go over to the last one, as you can see here, we did a beautiful blending technique, a freehand blending technique, as we have with the We Love Blonde campaign as well. And we used a very moss, mossy, lighter brown going into that mossy gray. And the base color is a beautiful brown. Styling-wise, what we did here is we wanted to have a beautiful, sleek, perfectly shape on the front area and rough it up in the back to give you that beautiful shape of that long hair, as you can see here, so that you can see the color coming through as well. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the collection Reillusion from Goldwell. I'm really, really honored to be here. I have so much fun and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.